Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm going to wait for just a little bit for a few of you to get on here and I'm going to find my live here so I can see all your comments. Karen, you're the first one on tonight. It is May 9th. And I know that people all over the country are celebrating Mother's Day. Where would we be without our mothers, right? So whether you have a mother here on earth, a mother in heaven, whether you're the mother of a fur baby or the mother of the neighbor's kids or whoever it may be, we all have a little bit of nurturing in us, don't we? And uh, we're, we perform motherly duties even if we haven't given birth to any kids. Not a big deal. I have stepchildren and oh my gosh, they flooded me with Mother's Day happiness today. So it's been pretty wonderful. Hi, Connie. Hi, Wanda. Heather's on here. Yeah, so it was a really great weekend for me um, for Mother's Day. I went up to see my mom Friday afternoon and uh, that was really fun. I, I took her and her best friend out for fish because in Wisconsin, it's Friday night fish. And um, I may have had another Southern Comfort Old Fashioned. Like last week, I was starting to think I had a problem <laughs> because I was going so many places. And a couple of the times it wasn't my fault because I asked for unsweetened iced tea and they just didn't have it. So what's next after unsweetened iced tea? Old Fashioned. Yep, they had those. <laughs> So I went out to eat in a week's time. I went out to eat for Anna's birthday. I went out to eat with Haley and Jared. I took my mom out to eat. I think, oh, and I went out to eat with two of my old, old friends. And um, yeah, so if there was some old fashions happening. <laughs> so I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day. We went um, flower shopping. So I took my mom out for fish. And then, I don't know if I told you guys this, but Steve and I bought a little piece of property over by my mom. And um, it's just a wooded lot with a garage and a shed and an outhouse. That's pretty important. And it's someplace we can take our summer home and leave it there. It's got power, but I mean, it's really um, in the woods. And um, so after we got done eating, we were kind of over in that area Friday night. So I'm like, you guys want to take a drive and I'll show you where this property is that we are purchasing. We didn't finish close on it yet. And they're like, yeah, sure. So we go down the road and then you have to turn by the John Deere mailbox. That's, that's how you get there. Like there's no road name, but it's just the logging road that goes way back in the woods. So this is how like remote this is. <laughs> And um, we're driving down the road, driving down the road, driving down the road. And I said, well, apparently, I don't know where my land is, but it's over there somewhere. <laughs> and we all had a very good laugh. And then Saturday, we got up. My mom made oh, homemade waffles and bacon for breakfast with homemade maple syrup. How can you not? Ugh, I totally blew my little diet that day. But um, then we went flower shopping and that was so much fun. They have Amish greenhouses by where my mom lives. And if you're any place within a couple hours, it is worth the trip over there because these great big, huge baskets of flowers are $20. Like you would pay 50, 60, 70 where I live here for these baskets. They're just amazing. So if you guys saw my pictures, I got a little carried away and um, it was funny because Mrs. Weaver owns one of the greenhouses and she's an Amish lady that we see every year. And um, she came out of the greenhouse and saw us pull up and her face just brightened because she knows I have a problem with flowers. So it was really cute, but we bought a whole bunch of flowers and um, then what else did we do? We went to three different greenhouses, so that took up a lot of time, right? And then um, I decided to take my mom out for a late lunch on Saturday, and then we decided to try to find my property again. And this time we were successful, and my mom liked it, so it was kind of fun. But I do know where it is now. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I bought some property, I don't know where it is. But we found it. Steve got a big kick out of that too, by the way, that I did not know. And um, what else happened? Let's see. Mm, 
oh, um, my niece was there. My sister lives with my mom and her two, three kids live with her. And um, for my niece's birthday, I bought her a crocodile head, like the head of a crocodile. And it's really like a remote control boat. So you put it in the water and you can control it with a remote and it swims around looking like doo -doo 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 -doo. So they were playing with that in the pond that's near my mom's house and that was pretty funny. So I was kind of excited about it. I knew what I saw, I got it at Menards and the, they had some pool toys and stuff and it looks like a real crocodile. And um, I saw it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. So I bought it and it was her birthday first, so she got it. Um, she was pretty happy with it. John update. Steve talked to John this morning as we were unloading the flowers out of the truck. And John is going to be turning in his work truck this week. Yay! So, and um, Steve kind of asked him what, you know, what are you going to do? It's going to be pretty nice to be um, retired. And he says, yeah, I won't have to like answer to other people. And that was about it. That was the extent of the conversation. So, We'll see what John does. Anyhow, um, I have winners tonight. Yay! I have an announcement to make. Let's see, which one was my... I've got one, two, three. Yeah, I think... Oh, that was for the order. Okay. So, first of all, I wanted to um, share with you... On my VIP group, I did a little, what's your favorite stamp set in the new catalog? And everybody who posted under there got entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Oh, Sharon says they have terrible weather there today. I'm so sorry. It's been just kind of overcast and whatever here. I've been working all day um, trying to get myself in line to leave on next Saturday. <laughs> For the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. Oh my gosh, you guys. My list is crazy. But I did get to cross some things off of it. Let me grab it. It's right here. Like, this is my list. And I got to cross off one, two, three things today. <laughs> I know I'm in a lot of trouble, aren't I? But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting things done. We have a lot going on in... Um, in my world because we have the catalog kickoff going on right now and that's been a lot of fun um it's only ten dollars to get into the kickoff dina was um live on saturday barb dina and i are each doing a live class in there and there's been prizes and drawings and card challenges and mystery stamping and all kinds of fun stuff going on in this facebook group so if anybody's interested there's still time I am actually on tomorrow night for a live class, so that's fun. There's also a make and take packet available um, if you want it, and just lots of fun. Catalog kickoff is a lot of fun. So anyways, back to my prizes. Um, where did my, did you guys see what I did with my envelope? Oh, here it is. Ah. I'm like, who do I give this to? So our, so I did a drawing. Everybody who answered what their favorite stamp set is in my VIP group. And Virginia Helmst of Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin was my winner. And Virginia is going to get a roll of the polka dotted tool ribbon, a half a pack of the opal rounds, oh so beautiful, and a pack of the D&D Garden Memories and More card pack. These are so fun. To make cards with. So congratulations, Virginia. And if you are not in my VIP group, the way that you get entered into the VIP group is if you've placed an order with me. And um, if you've placed an order with me and you aren't in the group, let me know because I can get you in there. I have to be friends with you and able to put you in the group. So you have to friend me and then private message me that you would like to be put in the VIP group. And I can only do it if you've placed an order through my online Stampin' Up! store. So I just want to, it's kind of a special little place for, um, for me to be able to do special things. All right, so congratulations to Virginia. And then I have other prizes here for um, making a comment. So if you're watching me, please make sure that you always leave a comment, whether it's here on Facebook or later when you watch the replay on YouTube, because I will enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. 
And I've got these gold glitter enamel dots that I am going to be giving away to the winner for commenting from last week. And that is Bonnie Debo of Platteville, Colorado. These are coming your way. So congratulations. I have everything all ready to go out in the mail. I'm trying to stay on top of my game, right? Because I don't want to get behind when I'm trying to get out of Dodge. Um, next up for sharing the video. Now, whether you're here on Facebook, you can share that video right now. And that really helps me or watching later on YouTube. You can share it, click on the bell, click on the bell. So you get notifications when I go live, click the subscribe button on YouTube because then you'll get notifications also that I go live. But for sharing my video last week, I have... Maggie Bennett of Ruckardsville, Virginia. You're going to get some of these fabulous square vellum doilies and also a half a pack of the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. Yay! You're going to love these. I love that paper and those doilies. I, I just really like vel vellum. Vellum is a very cool texture to it. Okay, what did I do? Oh, let me keep this right here. And also for placing an order, I give away prizes for that. And between last week and today, those who ordered got entered in a drawing. Rosemarie Basden of Memphis, Tennessee is my winner. Thank you so much for your order, Rosemarie. You're going to be getting the Forever Greenery Combo Ribbon Pack, as well as a half a pack of the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper and the Dandy Garden Laser Cut paper. Now, I'm just going to pop this open. It's um, it's really protected in here because Stampin' Up! doesn't want anything to happen to it while it's in the, in the mailing stages, right? So let me see if I can get one of these out of here so you can see it without destroying everything. Oh, I don't think I can. Well, let's just do it. <laughs> We're just going to go for it. But look at this. Oh my gosh, these are all laser cut. They just pop right out of here. And I don't want to destroy this because this belongs to Rosemary. But look at it. Isn't that pretty? It's called the Dandy Garden. Wait, let me make sure. Dandy Laser Cut Paper. And it's oh so pretty. It comes between two pieces of cardboard to make sure nothing happens to it. So let me get this back in here. This belongs to Rosemary. And all of these will be going out in the mail tomorrow. Hang on. I'm going to get these back in here so I don't lose anything. So, okay. I was... Actually, it's been a really fun few days other than... Well, it was fun going to my mom's house. But I mean, as far as work goes, because I have had to make a ton of stuff. And I'm in all these virtual groups that I have to get cards made and project sheets typed up before I leave on my trip. Um, we've got the catalog kickoff. I have to do, I'm going to be demonstrating five or six cards tomorrow night. So I had to make stuff for that. What else is happening? Oh, Stamp Happy Academy. I am um, doing my Stamp Happy Academy live for the live members on Wednesday morning. And so I need to design nine cards for that. So I have had so much fun designing cards because that's not usually something that I do, um, like get to do a whole lot in a row like I have. So that's been really fun. So I've been having a good time with that. Let's see, what else? Oh, I know. Um, we have our join special. I know this is backwards, but right now if you join my team, you can get, choose $155 worth of product for only $99. You'll get a discount on your future orders, 20% minimum. Um, there's all kinds of great stuff going on, and you get a whole bunch of stuff when you join my team. It's a lot of fun, and I've been getting a lot of cards lately, which reminds me. I'm just going to open up my drawers so I don't forget to do my mail. Don't let me forget to show you my mail because I have so many pretty things. But anyways, um, I've been getting a lot of cards in the mail saying, you know, thank you for this, thank you for that, but that they love being on my team. So it really is a lot of fun. A deal like this is a great time to try it out and see if it's something you enjoy. So if you have any questions, you can join my team as a discount shopper or you can build a business with it. It's completely up to you. But most of my team members are discount shoppers and they love it. 
happy shoppers when they get a discount. So that promotion, $155 worth of, did I say that wrong? No, $155 worth of stuff for $99 is good until the end of May, okay? Then we have our Connect, Craft, and Collect. You get an extra $25 when your party goes over $250. So if anybody's interested in having a catalog party, they're a lot of fun. We do them right on Facebook, or you can just have your friends place orders on a host code and you get the benefits. Or you can put in a $250 order and get an extra $25. So it's a great time to stock up on stuff that you may spread out over a time frame because you get extra $25. So completely up to you. We don't judge. Okay. Uh, what else do I have here? Doo, doo, doo. I talked to you about the catalog kickoff. I talked to you about, oh, I wanted to let you know what was on back order, but I don't have it up here on my screen again. Let me see if I can get it moving so that I can tell you about that. There's a few things from the new catalog that are on back order right now. And it seems crazy that that would happen when the new catalog just went live, right? But what's happening is we're having problems getting product. So we may have gotten one shipment in, but we had other shipments coming and they got stuck in the whole ship fiasco thing. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that up really quick so I can kind of tell you what's happening. I wanted to let everybody know because sometimes when you go into the system to place an order, it doesn't tell you why something is not available to order. And then it seems like something's going wrong with your internet and it's just very frustrating. And so I kind of like to know what's going on. Um, the ladybug trink, or I'm sorry, the bumblebee trinkets are going to be coming in at the end of the month as well as the in-color jewels. Those will be back in the warehouse around um, May 24th. And the evergreen, the evening evergreen Stampin' Blend combo pack May 17th. So that's not too bad, right? We've been waiting for the strawberry punch for forever. That is supposed to be in the warehouse on May 31st. So let's keep our fingers crossed on that one. It's been a huge problem. Lots of COVID delays too. You know, that's, that's an issue. Okay, so I think we are ready to turn this camera around. And yeah, Linda says she wants the pansy suite really bad, but it's not available. And the reason why they're not letting you order the whole suite, I think is because that's where the bumblebee trinkets are in. So if you don't want to wait, you can order the individual items and then just get the trinkets when they come in. Completely up to you. I know I've done that before when I'm like, oh, I have to have this right now. Okay, I think we're ready to start stamping, you guys. I'm kind of excited. I had so much fun today. So what I've got for you tonight is a whole set. You guys know I love to make the sets, right? I've got a whole set of cards. And then I sat down and figured out a box. And I think you're going to love it. So a set of cards with a box that you can make to put them in. Or you can put anything in it you want. But... Um, I made it for, oh, this is the box. Let me set that up there. We're not going to do that right away. I made up my little template too, so I knew what I was doing because sometimes it can be a little tricky, right? It's always nice when somebody shows you, but nobody showed me how to make this box. So I was on my own. All right, we are going to be using, oh, I thought I had the stamp set in here. Hang on. Oh, I did. <laughs> Color and contour. I love this, um, what do they call this line art? It's kind of quirky and whimsical. I absolutely love it. So I chose to use that. And then there are some dyes someplace that I thought I also just grabbed. What is happening to me? Like, I, am I losing my mind? Oh, there they are. I set them down on the floor. So these are the dyes. There's a couple more that go in here. There's a little one here and um, another size of scallop, but it's got a whole bunch of stitched scallops and then this fun scalloped to cut off like the edge of a card, and then some dies that go with the stamps in here. So let's turn our camera around so we can get things moving here. I'm really excited about showing you this because I think you're gonna love it. Okay, hang tight, close your eyes, 
Remember that fancy software I told you I bought that I wouldn't have to do this close your eyes thing anymore? Yeah, well, I still haven't hooked it up, so. Rose is gonna come over and help me. Um, I wanna do it so that I only have to use two devices, and so she knows how to do that. Rose is on my team. She's got some pretty good knowledge with that. Okay, so, again, we're gonna be using the hand-penned designer series paper, and oh my goodness. So you guys know how I always say, just buy two packs of paper, then you won't have to feel chintzy about it. Well, as I was using this today, I'm like, I need to order some more of this. Just get three, get three, you won't be disappointed. This paper is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. All right, we are going to be using Mint Macaron and all the cards that I made for our Facebook Live tonight, I pulled from the colors that are included in the designer series papers. And you guys know that on the back of your pack of designer series paper, hang on, just in case we have somebody new. This is the, um, what is this called? Sweet Symmetry paper. But right here under the name of the paper is all the coordinating colors that go with it. So I always, I always appreciate that because sometimes it's hard to like, I don't know, what color is that? What color of green is that? Well, I know that it's Mint Macron because it's part of the paper. So anyways, all right, I am going to take my five and a half by eight and a half. Lisa says the paper is amazing. I'm telling you guys. It is amazing. Like, I am having so much fun with it. I used a ton of it up today. So, just get three. Just get three. Betty says she loves this. It may be her favorite in this catalog. I, I would agree with you, Betty. I am not going to argue with you there. Okay, next up, we are going to take... This is one of the designer papers with pink on the back. And you can see I've got... This is one side. This is the other right here. I love this type of watercolor line art. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of whimsical and I, I just love it. So this is, oh, where's my cheat sheet? Hang on. I got that here too someplace. Or maybe I forgot to make one. Um, I think this is three inches by five and a half. Yep, I'm right. Three inches by five and a half. And then I've got a piece of basic black. I always kind of, I lean towards black a lot because it makes things pop and there's black in the paper. This is three and a quarter by five and a half. So we're gonna grab our liquid blue. Oh, I forgot to give you guys an update on Baby Veil. Vale. Oh, do you wanna hear this? It's pretty gross. <laughs> but we can all handle it, right? We're adults. So yesterday, Haley and Jared stopped over with with my little grandbaby. And she's not been feeling well. They were kind of wondering if she had COVID, but now we kind of know she doesn't. She's got the flu. And they Steve fed her some cottage cheese because she was hungry while she was here. And then I grabbed her and I was holding her like this and she proceeded to like projectile vomit all over me. <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't want to say that like, really pronounce it well because it's so gross, but <laughs> it was pretty disgusting to say the least. It was just really gross. And I felt so bad for her. And it was so bad that Haley took her and, and I'm like, I don't even know what to do. And Haley's like, just go get in the shower. And I went and climbed in the shower with all my clothes on. <laughs> it was so bad. But anyways, she's feeling a little better today, but she's been running a fever and sleeping a lot and being needy and not much appetite. And then she started throwing up. So it's kind of gross, right? But poor baby. Oh, and then I have to tell you, I know Bernice, right? So I just did a um, mint macaron and now I'm gonna take this little image. I'm gonna stamp it right down here in the corner like that. So um, Haley for Mother's Day, Haley got me a photo shoot with her and Val. They have a photographer that they use. And so Thursday, we're going to go get pictures taken. And I'm so excited. I got to find, you know, the kids nowadays, they like everything to be color coordinated. So she told me, I'm like, okay, what do I need to wear? I knew she was going to, you know, give me something that I, some type of instruction. And I'm wearing a gray shirt and jeans, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so this is, oh, wait, I'm not done yet. Too much chitter chatter. 
we're gonna take this. Now you could put a white layer on the inside, but I wanted to keep these fairly simple. And I'm just gonna put that right there. All right, so this is our card so far. Now, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it on here at an angle. And I've got it about the same distance from this corner up here and this bottom corner down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my thumb right here and I'm going to put some glue on here. Of course, you don't wanna run over, right? And now I'm gonna put this back on here. You wanna make sure that your paper goes over the edges. Okay, so make sure this corner and this corner are over the edges. And that's why we had to cut this five and a half. And then we're gonna take our paper snips and you're gonna come in, or you could put it in your paper trimmer if you wanted to. I'm gonna come in from the back and use this edge as a guide that'll cut it off perfectly straight. And then we'll do the same thing on the other one. Priscilla says she loves this sweet. Well, I love the sweet too, and I'm not even using it. Like this goes with the hand pen, this paper does. But I love the color and contour with it too because I think it matches. So that's kind of neat. You can get both of them and they can, you know, interact really well. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, whoops, hang on. I gotta grab a little tiny piece. We're gonna take a piece of mint macron and you can stamp it now or you can die cut it, but we're gonna use the smallest die from the, these are called scalloped contour dies. And of course, if you order the color and contour as a bundle, you get a 10% discount. But okay, hang on, we're done with this. We're gonna take the smallest die out of the middle here and we're going to die cut it. And earlier today, I did a whole bunch of these because I made a whole set of cards, right? And so um, a lot of times the little, the little dots here, all the paper will come out, but sometimes it doesn't. So what I like to do rather than sitting here and poking them all out, I do this with my dies. I will hit them on the table and then you can see all the little polka dots coming out. And once in a while, Steve will come in while I'm doing this and he'll give me a funny look. You know, you're like kind of angry, throwing them on the table. And he looks at me like I'm a lunatic. And I'll go, you want some of this? <laughs> and then we laugh and laugh. <laughs> but yeah, so get a little exercise. You get a little exercise with your arm, throwing it. You can get a little frustration out. You can, you know, scare your family members. <laughs> they walk in. <laughs> you throwing the dies. So anyways, I always like to clean these out before I put them away because it just makes life easier, right? Okay, so once we have that die cut, it's going to it's going to look like this. Very pretty. I like this a lot. I'm going to grab my Memento ink. And I've got the stamp that says you're absolutely amazing. And I love, love, love the fonts in here. You guys know I'm a big font person. Like I love quirky little fonts and I love big greetings too. We've got a new stamp set with big greetings. So I'm gonna stand up, stamp this on here. Woohoo! that turned out great. I'm using Memento Black ink. And then We've got this new twine. This is called Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And the cool thing about this is black, um, Sahara, no, gray granite, vanilla, white, and crumb cake. So we've got all these in one container. I think the black and the white are, no, the black and the crumb cake are 10 yards. And I think mm, the other three are five yards, but you get a lot on these. So that's why I have my handy dandy little bow jig in here. Thanks, Nancy. Happy Mother's Day to you guys too. And I'm just going to tie a bow. Now, if you've seen me, you know that I have some of these in stock. They're $10. And if you would like one, you have to email me. Please don't message me on Facebook or text me or anything like that. I need your email address to be able to invoice you. So email me at kelly at a stampabove.com. 
and I will send you an invoice and then I'll mail off your, um, I call this a bow jig. I'll mail it off after you've paid your invoice that it prompts me telling me that I've got something I need to do. And then I go look at my PayPal account and I know that I need to mail that to you. But these are really nice. I have a video showing you how to make double bows and all kinds of good stuff with this thing. Okay, so I, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put this. I put some of, I put one of my bows down at the bottom. The other ones I put right up here in the corner. So I'm going to do this one right up here in the corner. And it just adds that little pop I think is super, super fun. Okay, now I need to find, here we go again with the dimensionals. You guys know that I have a big problem losing dimensionals, right? I always seem to lose the dimensionals. Well, I got a new card of them out today, but I don't know where they went. So we're gonna use some edges here. That'll work fine. Don't throw your edges away, they're good too. And I like the big edges that are on the um, outside of the mini dimensionals. So we're gonna do that. Okay, we're ready to roll. Oh, we can put this right on here. So this is gonna be our little sentiment for the front. And I'm gonna leave mine blank on the inside other than that, that um, little flower that I stamped right here. I left mine blank so that I can write all the way over this. I have lots of room to write because you know, if somebody's amazing, you're gonna have to like explain yourself. <laughs> So anyways, this is pretty neat. This is called Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And you guys know that once I'm done with the Facebook Live, I put pictures and dimensions and a complete shopping list on my blog right here. It takes me a little while, like usually about an hour to two hours to get this loaded onto my blog, but you can find a whole shopping list. So it'll show you a picture of these. You can click on it. It'll take you right to my store. Okay, Catherine says she loves her bow jig and she bought one for her sister. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, next up, um, I am going to, oh, we need to put some embellishments on here. Let's see, I had a pack of these that are opened. Hang on, let me find them. Oh, no, they were just here. Well, I don't know what I did with them. They're probably by the dimensionals, right? <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I am going to bring in some of these green ones. You could use the peach or the green. These are the genial gems. And these are just really, really nice. They have a little bit of sparkle in them, a little bit of glitter in them. That's really pretty. And of course you could put on as many as you want, but I just like to put on the, just a little bit of bling, right? Then I've got my envelope and this is um, whoops, this is two and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue here. Now, one thing about making a whole set of cards, like a gift pack of cards, if you do this with your envelopes, oh my goodness, your whole, like, your presentation is so spectacular. And this is why I'm telling you to order three packs of the paper. Two is not going to make you feel like you can use it like you should. <laughs> Just trust me on that because I know we're all paper hoarders. We are. It's it's like in our genes as paper crafters, we're paper hoarders. But if you buy three packs of this particular paper because it's so amazing. I think I just undercut that. Oh, no, it looks okay. Um, you won't feel chintzy with it. And you'll, you won't feel bad about doing this. Is that not gorgeous? Now look at how pretty that's gonna to be together, right? I love this. Okay, so let me show you the rest of my little goodies here for you. Oops, now at my topper. So I got all of these done. Ooh, look at all these delicious colors. I did all of these earlier today and I thought, well, we'll have time to chat as we're putting these together. So. Here is, now, one thing I want to tell you is my card base that I used here is so saffron, okay? But it actually has Daffodil Delight here, but see how pale this is? There's dark yellow and light yellow. So I chose to go with so saffron because I wanted a little softer look than a Daffodil Delight. So I just want to let you know why that's so saffron. Okay, and then this is our matching 
sentiment or label for this card. So as we were driving around with my mom going from greenhouse to greenhouse in Greenwood, that's where she lives, Greenwood. Um, we were going house to or um, greenhouse to greenhouse. My mom was giving directions because we were kind of going a back way. And we had to go the right way because, this is Highland Heather, because the river runs through there and there's only so many roads that have a bridge on them, right? Like you can't get through on every road that goes uh, east and west and that's the way we needed to go. My gosh, look at how pretty this is. Yay! And so my mom was taking us backwards and the cool thing was is that as she was doing it, oh, where's my envelope? Hang on. Oh, there it is. As she was doing it, we were following the signs as if we were coming the other way and going to the greenhouse. And I just thought that was very clever of her. She's looking, you know, we're driving this way and she'd look that way at the signs and go, okay, we need to turn up there because we were going back the way other people were coming to the greenhouse, which, you know, just brilliant. My mom's pretty smart. And, um, I told her how smart that was. She goes, well, you know, I did have to do this for 20 some years because my mom and dad were truck drivers and my mom would navigate as well. She drove too, but I mean, she was the main navigator. This is blushing bride. Isn't that pretty? And so, um, she had to get pretty good at it. And then she was telling me this little story. This one's pool party. Isn't that paper just different? It's just different, right? It's very pretty got some cinnamon cider in it. So she was telling me this story about um, when my mom and dad were in DC. Like my dad was all kind of business. They would go to these places and my mom has been like everywhere in the country, but she didn't get to see all the things, right? So they were headed um, in DC, they were headed towards the Capitol and um, or towards the White House, that's what I meant to say. So this is Misty Moonlight, and because it's kind of a dark color, I didn't want to stamp my label on a dark color, I used the um, Pale Papaya, and that's one of the colors in here. So that's why I chose this one. I think that looks pretty smashing, doesn't it? So anyways, as they're getting closer to the um, White House, my dad's like, are you sure we're supposed to be up here? And my mom's like, yeah, there's only a couple more blocks. There's only a couple more blocks. And he's like, are you really sure? And, you know, he kept asking her. Finally, <laughs> they were about three blocks away and he turned because he realized what she was doing. She would tell him the directions to get to someplace she wanted to see <laughs> because they were close to it. And that isn't where they were supposed to be going to deliver their loads. So it was kind of funny. My mom told me that while we were driving around. And I said she was so smart for going backwards, right? <laughs> okay, this is pale papaya. So what do you guys think? Beautiful, pale papaya, misty moonlight, pool party. I, lo I love this. Pool party, um, blushing bride. Highland Heather, So Saffron, and Mint Macron. And I told my mom, I'm like, wow, he was pretty smart, wasn't he? She goes, well, you know, your father was very smart. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so let's move these out of the way. And we're going to make a box to put them in. So, yeah, that was my cute little story. We were reminiscing a little bit about my dad. He, um, he passed away back in... 2012 so we miss him he was a he was quite a character okay so here's what I did I put little notes on here and so I'm going to explain these to you so that you can go back and watch the video and it'll make it easier for you to recreate this so I'm using pool party and these two pieces are the same they are five and three quarters by seven okay and they are the front of the box. Now, when you go to rewatch this, you can fast forward, you can rewind, and you can pause. So that, like when I'm watching somebody else do a video, I will pause where they're saying the dimensions. I'll pause, and then I'll write it down. And then return and keep going so I know what's going on. Okay, so this one is also pool party. This one is six and three quarters by seven, okay? 
I think. Well, I mean, I know that's the size, but it's, yeah, this is the six and three quarters edge. So now I have to look at what I'm doing here. Oh, and I also, um, let's see, we're going to use a white piece, a white scrap, and we're going to do a little stamping and then we'll put our box together. Where did my, um, there it is, piercing mat go. I need my piercing mat. Okay, so we are going to take our, this is one of the new in colors, the pale papaya. Yes, Helen says the set will make a nice gift. Yes, it will. And you know who I thought I was going to give this to? I thought about this. I'm like, you know, who should I give this to? I have been meeting once a month for the last like three months, I think, with some old friends that I used to shoot darts with when Haley was a baby. So that was 25 years ago. We shot darts together on a dart league. And um, I thought next time we get together, I am going to give a set of these to each one of them. And I think they will absolutely love them. So uh let's see what are we gonna do here oh I should have I should have die cut this first but we're gonna we're gonna die cut this with the next size of scallop out of here let's see let's get this one back in here I don't lose it oops hang on technical difficulties operator error <laughs> which is usually my problem okay so we're gonna we're gonna die cut this and we're gonna stamp the words. Where's my black? Right here. You're amazing. I'm gonna do you're amazing again. Or you could use the thank you stamp. Does anybody see my stamp that says? Hang on. Man down. Here it is. <laughs> Where did my stamp go? But we're gonna stamp this right here like this. Oh, that looks beautiful. Don't you love that font? It's like so delicious. Okay, then we're gonna die cut this in our stamp and cut and emboss machine, just like that, okay? And when we get that done, it's gonna look just like this. I'm gonna put my die back over here so I don't lose it. Yeah, so here's all of those dies together. You get one, two, three, four, five scallop rectangles, and then the scallop edge, and two more dies for the flowers. Okay, so we've got that ready. We're gonna set that aside, and we're gonna start working on our box. Now, what I did, you guys, and this is what I usually do when I make a box. I take some crummy old cardstock. So I have some retired colors that I never use. And um, so I whipped this box up with retired colors. I always do that before I get out my good Stampin' Up! cardstock, right? So we're going to start with our back piece. And it says you want to score it on one inch on three sides. So, and this is seven inches. So let's see, make sure that the top of my paper is the seven inch side. And it is not, it's the six and three quarters. So I'm gonna take this, just so you don't get confused, and I'm gonna do this to it. So this is the seven inch side right here, and I'm gonna score it one inch, one inch, and one inch. And again, this is the back of our box, one inch. What did you guys have for supper tonight? Look, I just scored through my paper. <laughs> I did not eat supper yet, but earlier today I had a couple tacos and they were delightful. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. Now we're gonna grab our scissors and we're going to cut a little sliver out of here, right? Because your, your tabs will always fold better if you cut out a little sliver. Oops, I almost poked myself. Okay, just like that. Then we're gonna fold on these. I'm gonna take these two things off. Fold this out of the way. Looks way back here. Pizza, chicken tenders. Robin had chicken tenders. My husband went to Festival Foods the other day and they have rotisserie chipotle chicken that they have chunked off of, a, you know, those little chickens you buy cooked. 
he brought packages of that home and I put it in an Alfredo sauce and put it on the healthy noodles. Healthy noodles are at Costco and they're like next to no calories and they have hardly no carbs and they're pretty decent. So if you need that, it's pretty good. All right, so this one, you need two pieces, seven by five and three quarters, okay? So I can obviously see that this is the five and three quarter edge. Now I'm a little confused, hang on. This is the five and three quarter edge. Yep, so um, this is a five and three quarter edge. You're gonna put that up against your baseboard and we're gonna, we're gonna um, score it one inch on this side and the bottom, okay? One inch and one inch. Okay, so that's what we have here. Boom, boom. Now, we're going to grab this other one. I'm just going to move these. And we are going to score on this side at one inch and the bottom. I'll show you in just a second. I know this looks weird, but you'll get it. It's pretty easy. Here we go. So we're going to turn it over. So now we've scored on this side and one inch and this side and one inch, okay? So now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. We need to cut where this little um, tab is, but then we need to cut this whole piece off, okay? So I'm gonna use my scissors. Did I tell you guys we had a plumbing leak in my new bathroom? The drain was leaking. It wasn't good because, yeah but Fred came over and got it fixed. So that was lucky. And we're gonna just cut that right out of there. Ooh, I see I need, see how this looks a little frayed here? I need to get a new blade in my paper cutter. And you guys know to change your blades, there's a little, there's some little divots right down here. So you bring your, your blade down here and you kind of Pick it up on one side and pick it up on the other side. It'll come right out because it's got two little handles on each end. I'm going to have to get a new blade in here because I don't like that torn paper look. It looks shabby. Okay, so this is my right side. This is my left side. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut out a little bit, just a little sliver, just like that. And we're gonna fold on all of these. Oh, before we do that, do you see my diagram here? This is my score lines. We're gonna cut from that score line to that score line. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's just paper. And I love that the Stampin' Trimmer has this channel in it that can let you see that you're lining it up perfectly. Just like that. Now you can use this for something else. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut from here to that corner. The score line, make sure you go to the score line to the corner. It keeps wiggling on me. There we go, okay? So this is what we have. All right. Now we're gonna take our bone folder because you want nice crisp folds on these. Take your bone folder and burnish all your score lines. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp on these panels now, okay? If you wanted to put some type of decoration on them, I would do it, well, you could do it, I would actually do it before you score them because you're, you're gonna get a much better um, image, okay? So, we're gonna take this little tab and this little tab, I folded them in, and I'm going to put some tear and tape on them, which I do know where that is. <laughs> Here comes our tear and tape. So this is actually going on the, the back side or the front side, I guess. You'll get it, you'll understand. I, don't, I wanna say too much and make it confusing, but you can see that I folded these in and now I'm putting tear and tape on. Thank you, Deb, for the Happy Mother's Day. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna peel off the backing. I 
And now you're gonna pull this up and you're gonna fold this corner so that your tab is on the inside and your corner is squared up nicely, okay? Just like that. We're gonna do the, oh, I'm gonna say, we're gonna do the same thing over here, but we have nothing to glue it to, right? So this is gonna actually go in here. So it's gonna crisscross over, okay? So what I recommend is that you do a dry fit. I'm gonna put my thumb right here where that cardstock crossed over here. And I'm just gonna add some liquid glue in that part, okay? Now, the mistake that I made when I made up my um, template earlier today is I pushed this all the way over into the corner and then stuck this to here. Don't do that. Just watch so that you're squaring up these corners, okay? Don't worry about this getting all the way over in there. That's not important. But we want this edge to be squared up, okay? That's the most important. And then we'll get this in here and it'll stick. It's not a big deal. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that crazy? It's funny how that, like that, made that. Okay, so now here's the back of our box. This is gonna be the back. And we're gonna take some more tear and tape. And I use tear and tape on these boxes right here because anytime you fold paper, it has a grain to it. And it has like, I don't know if you can call it a memory, but when you fold it, it always wants to go back to its original shape. So using something a little bit more, um, I don't know, this is like industrial tape, a little stronger than glue or a tape runner is just a good idea when you're making boxes or fun folds that you have to, you know, get something to stay folded over. That's when you'll find me use tear and tape also. Get this off of here. Okay. And again, we're just gonna be squaring up these corners nicely. You wanna make sure those are nice and square. That's all you're really worried about. The rest of the box will come together like it's supposed to. Woohoo! Okay, now, this is our front. So we want this to go on the outside of these, okay? That's just gonna give you a nice, cleaner look. Uh-oh, I did something wrong. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Oh, I bet you I used the wrong side of this. Well, we're going to continue on. Mine isn't lining up just right, and I don't know why. I probably cut something wrong. This box is a little bit bigger than it should be. I think what I probably did. Hang on, I'm going to measure this. I don't want you guys to try this and then have it not work. So this is 7 inches. This is my other box. Yep, it should have gone the other way. So, this is the front. And this is, this is where I made my mistake, you guys. Yep, the seven inches was the way I had these stuck on here to begin with. So hang tight because this is not gonna make me happy. And I want you guys to see how to do this right. So we're going to do it again. Seven by six and three quarters. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't have a hot flash. <laughs> okay. So we need six and three quarters. By seven. So I'm gonna bring, this was my prototype box that I made. I'm gonna bring this in here. Yep, I needed to do it on this side. See what I did? Yeah, I scored the wrong way. Okay, so I'm gonna score this side. So this is the six and three quarter edge. You need to do the one, one, and one. Okay, so have the six and three quarter inch edge up here. And then you're gonna score it one inch, one inch, and one inch, just on three sides, the two sides and the bottom. All right, now we can get this right. That was easy, right? That was an easy mistake to fix. Again, I'm gonna cut a little bit of sliver out. 
I'm starting to have a hot flash now. <laughs> it's so funny how anytime I start having any trouble with anything, immediately the hot, this hot flash comes on. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta take off my little jacket. I was cold before, and now I am not. <laughs> oh, yes, so much fun. Okay, bone folder, here we go. So I'll take pictures of this and um, these pieces and put them in my blog post too. So that'll be a little bit easier for you guys to follow along so you can make some of these because I really do want you to make some. They're very easy as long as you do it, you know, score on the right sides, not like I did, but now you know it's important. Don't mess it, don't mess it up. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Wendy says, all is good, Kelly. I know. You know, I can carry on pretty good when I make a mistake, but my body, that betrays me every time. <laughs> Jackie Unger, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. Jackie says, no worries. I know. Okay, it's just paper, right? We're here having a good time. It's not a big deal. Okay, here we go. Oops. Get the backing off. You gotta push that down so it'll stay on there and then get the backing off. Don't try to rush things. It's funny that it's still light outside. I'm so loving the later getting dark outside, aren't you guys? Yeah, it's really nice. Longer days mean summer's on its way. Okay, here we go, ready? Oh, again, this goes on the outside. Now, when I made mine, I had it kind of sticking up like this and I didn't really like that. Look, it fits nicely now. So I took this back piece and I just grabbed my scissors and I cut it off just like that. Okay, here's the back. I'm gonna put the front over the top and now it doesn't stick out like that, right? So that's nice. And now I think you can just use some liquid glue in here. I'm gonna actually put the liquid glue on the on the um, outside borders of the back piece. Oops, hang on, let me wipe that on my pants. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna carefully bring this in here, push it down in there, and now we're gonna use your bone folder to go in there and Push that down good so it will stick to the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing down in here. And just all stuck together. Ah, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna get all these out of the way. Then what I decided to do, you guys is I've got a piece of the beautiful designer series paper. This is two by 12. Mm. Hang on, I got a low battery. Oops, I'm probably putting my hand right in front. Um, okay, my phone is still working. Low battery on my iPad. So we're charging that now. Okay, so this is two by 12. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and so what I do, rather than score it, because you know if you score it wrong, it just jacks the whole thing up, as you well saw, right? <laughs> There's a good lesson. I just like to take it and keep giving it, you know, I just bring it up here, and oh, now I need to push it down here. And then I can fold it to make sure it's gonna be straight. Do that. And I just keep doing that until I get it all the way around here, okay? I'm gonna push it down like that. Hold on to that and bring this one and push that down like that. And now we can take it off, fold it on those crease lines that I made. I have a dry spot in my throat. 
Marianne says, nice, very nice gift, love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I thought this was really pretty too. Well, once I started working with this paper, you guys, I couldn't stop. Like, that's really what happened. I couldn't stop. It was just so fun. All right, now, huh, what did I do there? Oh, there we go. Let's say, what did I just do? Hmm. On the struggle bus tonight. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I want to do is I want to put these two together and I wanted to use some tear and tape so that it doesn't come apart, okay? So, and I'm, and I'm making the paper close on the front because we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over top so you won't see these seams, right? So that's the best way to do it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna put my tear and tape really, really close to the edge because we got just a small little margin there. And here we go. Okay. And I think before I press this down, I wanna just make sure where do I want this? Yeah, I think that's exactly where I want it. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up before I stick it together. There we go, I had to catch it. <gasps> Isn't it, it's just so pretty, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take some dimensionals. Oh, you know what, where is my ribbon? Here's some ribbon. This is the new um, Pale Papaya Woven Ribbon. Oh, and I thought this would look, I used the Pale Papaya ink here and I thought this would be really pretty with this ribbon wrapped around here and maybe a little bow tied on the side. What do you guys think? You think that's a good plan? Just adds a little pizzazz. Carol says she loves the box so much. I know it's, it's pretty easy too. I mean, I did screw it up, but that's because I wasn't, Paying attention to my own directions. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do a bow. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my ribbon around here. And again, you always want to have it meet under your element so that you don't have ugliness back here. Nobody needs no ugliness. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pull this around here. And then I'm just going to use a piece of scotch tape because that's really gonna hold this in place well. And it's gonna be hidden under my, under this element, right? You could, you guys could make these so much more fancy if you want it, fancier if you wanted to. You could put another layer under here using um, another one of these scallops. You could put a whole other layer under here. You could do whatever you, there's a lot of things you could do to spruce this up. But I wanted to show you the easy version because those of us who perhaps like to make something a little, with a little more, we know how to do that, right? But I wanted to show you that if you don't want to go crazy with this, it's still beautiful and an, a smashing gift. It's just a fantastic gift. I'm just looking here. I'm, I'm putting my um, dimensionals on here so that I don't want to, hanging over the back on here, right? Okay, so here we go. This would have been a nice idea for me to have in time for Mother's Day, right? Hello, Kelly. Gosh. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna center this So that my paper's running right through the center of it. Make sure I have that attached good. And then let's see, do we want to add a little bit of ribbon over here to tie a little, little knot? Let's see. If we don't like it, we can take it off. I didn't actually like, this is my first go at actually making the real box. I made a prototype, but okay, what do you guys think of that? Should I keep that on there? It's kind of pretty, isn't it? I think so too. I like this. This ribbon is really nice. I'll just cut it at a little angle. I 
And then I think we need to add a few embellishments. Now remember I told you that I was gonna give these to my friends, my my 25 year old friends. <laughs> that I used to, I used to shoot on a dart league when Haley was a baby. And so these are my friends that I used to do that with. I'm gonna take those genial gems and we've been getting together. Do I wanna do the green? Let's see, what is that gonna, oh, what do you guys think of the green? It, it could go with the pool party, right? I think I should use the, the green. I'm just gonna barely push that on there. Or should I go with the peachy colored one? What do you guys think? I'm gonna take a drink while I wait for some answers to float in here. No bow, Karen says no bow. Deb says yes. <laughs> We're neck and neck, just like the Kentucky Derby, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Betty says yes. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, oh, Judy says she likes the green. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the green. That was the first answer I got on the embellishments. So I'm gonna put the peachy one back and then we're gonna grab some more green ones here. Oh. You always do kind of odds with your, with your embellishments. That's what I've been told by people who know. <laughs> People who know, right? Okay, somebody else likes the bow. I think we'll leave it on here. Don't put a bow on yours. Hi, Jolene. I haven't seen you in forever. Okay, so let's take our cards now. And I've got, I'll, I'll tell you guys how many cards I have here so you know how many will fit in your box. Should we look at them again? <gasps> Blushing Bride with the beautiful envelope flap. Whoops. Oh. Highland Heather. Oh. Should I stop singing? <laughs> so Saffron. Mint Macron. Pool Party. Misty Moonlight. That's different, isn't it? And Pale Papaya, which is a new color. <gasps> okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards here. Let's see if these will all fit in our box. Get all the little elements down in here. <gasps> Perfect, actually. Could probably put one more card in here too if you wanted to do eight, or I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Six would work nice too. Now I put this in here on purpose this um, peachy one, the papaya, pale papaya it's called, not peachy. <laughs> Get it right, Kelly. I put this one in here on top. Oops, I don't wanna ruin my little bow because I thought it would look nice sticking out like that. <gasps> Isn't this just the cutest? Yeah, so I'm gonna bring out these dimensions one more time. Um, this is the front. Move this over. This is the front, and here's the little guidelines. Here's our designer series paper, and then this is the back. Okay, so now you can pause your camera after we're live. You can't right now. Did you remember to add the envelopes? Yes, all the envelopes are in here, Linda. All the envelopes are in here with the cards. So look at how many you can put in there. Isn't that cool? Mm, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Okay, you guys, that is our project for tonight. Yay! And hang tight because I have some awesome mail to share with you. I got, of course, very pretty, very pretty things this week. And let me just get some of this stuff out of my way. Again, this, you guys, was the hand-penned designer series paper. I think you'll love it. This is my current host code right here. If anybody's placing an order, I always appreciate your orders. And that is my current host code to use. Oh, I have to show you my major award. <laughs> I got a major award this week, you guys, from Stampin' Up. Every award we get from Stampin' Up is major, right? Okay, so let me put these away. I don't want to lose them. 
so I can take some pictures for you. But look at this pretty little box that came in the mail for me this week. And this opens up. <gasps> it's for my one million dollars. And it's got a diamond in it. Those are real diamonds too, by the way. But this is my million dollar milestone. Isn't that cool? Where is it my, is that a million? Yeah, it's a million, right? Yes, that's a million. <laughs> Math is hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Lord help me. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm losing all my marbles. That is a million. And that's a real diamond. So this will get all filled up as you keep climbing up. So when I hit, um, I, I, I actually already have hit one 0.1 million and then I'll get another pin with another diamond in it. Isn't that cool? Yeah mm -hmm. I love my company. They are amazing It's a great company to be a part of okay uh, Oh, I have to show you this This came from Jamie priest. She is the sweetest ever. She told me she had some goodies on their way Like check this out these are Hawaiian face masks. You guys know I'm leaving for Hawaii next Saturday. Look at these. Hawaiian. So we've got some girly ones and perhaps some more less girly or masculine ones. Look at this one. Yeah. She made all of these and sent them to me for me and Steve for our trip to Hawaii. And isn't that... Yep, this is extra large. She said she gave... Extra large to Steve and large for me. Yep, these two are for Steve. I think he would like this one, though, too. And then a couple for me in Hawaiian patterns. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Yeah, it's so sweet. Jamie, you are the best. Thank you so much. I'm going to put these in my suitcase with my flat barb and flat sheriff. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We had a whole conversation about it the other day. Oh, we did a um, meet and greet and asked Kelly, Dina, and Barb on the catalog kickoff. And we talked about our flat Barb and the sheriff. Okay, look at how beautiful this is. This comes to me from Lisa D'Alessandro. And it says, thank you so much. Thank you so much for others with a cheerful, giving heart. Ah, uh -huh, that's sweet. Please enjoy the Spiral Bound catalog. Oh yeah, this is the card that came with my Spiral Bound catalog that I, sh I showed you guys last time. Lisa sent me this catalog and it is our current, our new catalog and she had it Spiral Bound for me. And it's really nice because when you open it up, you can do this with it and it stays open on the page you opened, right? So yes, Lisa, thank you so much. This was like, the best. If you guys don't have a catalog, I'd be happy to send you one. Please just let me know. But look at how beautiful that card is. I love that. Next up, we have... Uh-oh, I ripped it. Oh, Belinda Bazo. Let me see if I said that right. Belinda. Look at how cute this is. I loved this. Celebrate thongs, pineapple, little hula girls, wishing you... And it says aloha... Wishing you a ridiculously awesome vacation. <laughs> you work so hard. You deserve a break to relax and chill. Enjoy, Belinda. Belinda, this was the sweetest. You are so sweet. I love your card. Next up, we have Gloria Shermel. And thank you for being you. Thank you so much for the happy mail. What a wonderful surprise to receive. Always in my heart stamp set from the team meeting and the bow maker. Yay! Signing up, oh, and she's on Kathy Miller's team, who is on my team. Signing up with Kathy Miller and being on your team makes me happy. Gloria, your card is beautiful, and you are very, very welcome. Thank you so much. Next up, hi, Carol Jacobson. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> this, look at how pretty this is. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Uh, this is from Ruth Jarda. I know Ruth is watching tonight. Thank you for the welcoming window bundle and the bow maker. I love being on your team. You always inspire me and I love your humor. Well, you are very welcome, Ruth. Thank you so much for your beautiful card. 
Ooh, ooh, here comes. Here's the paper we used tonight, you guys. This is from Ginger Helmied. Another gorgeous little thank you card. The little things you do make such a big difference. Thank you for the bow maker. I had a challenge for my team um, a couple months ago. And if they met the challenge, I sent them a free bow maker. And a lot, a lot made the challenge. So that was awesome. This one is from Kathy Williams. And it says, thank you for the bow maker. I enjoy being on your team and love watching you make cards. You look at how pretty that is. And then she stamped it in here. Gorgeous. Love it, Kathy. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Mary Henriksen. Look at this. This is that Hydrangea Haven. Oh, and the new um, oval punches. Beautiful. Thank you so much for the bow maker. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't know all of these were thank you for the bow maker. Well, not all of them, but... What fun to learn a new skill with a great new tool. I have enjoyed being a discount shopper with you and I can't wait for the new catalog. Yay! So this must have come probably early last week. Next up, look at how pretty this is. I love that pop of green under the black, under the designer paper with the cherry cobbler. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is from Marianne um, Conrad. And I, don't, I never know how to say your name, Marianne. I know you're watching. Severe, Sever, I'm not sure. But anyways, Marianne is on my team. <laughs> I do know that. Dear Kelly, the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. Thank you for the bow maker and happy mail from the team meeting, mostly for all you do. Look at how pretty she did this inside too. I love, I love this. This is just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Marianne. You are so sweet. Next up, <gasps> look at this. So remember the person who won um, one of the prizes from last time gets some of these die cuts. Now these are gold and those die cuts were white, but this is what you do with them. They're so pretty. This is from Mary Swanson. It says, thanks so much for the free card kit for my April order. I got the PDF and can't wait to make the cards. I have lots of pretty things from the new catalog that will be on my wish list. Have fun in Hawaii. Yay! Thank you so much, Mary. You are the sweetest, but isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Okay, next up, Jamie Lency. Oh, look at this deliciousness, you guys. This uses that technique that I showed you um, last month. Alcohol and um, Stampin' Blend markers and like 70 to 90% alcohol on vellum cardstock, and you can make that beautifulness, right? Look at how pretty her card is. This is just so, I, I love your layout, and this is so pretty. Now, Jamie sent me a card saying, thank you so much for the Happy Mail packages. Hard to believe I won twice. So glad to be on your team. You make it so fun. This card is made with the blends on vellum and then dabbing the alcohol with a brush. Um, my one year anniversary with you is May 5th. Looking forward to many more. And guess what? We just missed it. But happy belated anniversary with Stampin' Up! and being on my team. Thank you so much. And next up, look at this. This is that new um, tree suite. Isn't that paper gorgeous? This is from Jan Fort. And it says, Dear Kelly, you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. Sorry this is late, but thank you for the bow maker. It's really going to come in handy. Isn't that pretty? Mossy Meadow. Oh, this paper is just delicious. Okay, guys, I think that might be it. Here's our project. If anybody's coming in here late, this is a cute little box. And then I made all of these cards with the color and contour bundle and the hand penned designer series paper. Don't forget to do your envelope flaps, you guys. That is just makes it so spectacular, doesn't it? So, so pretty. So there we go. This was our project for tonight. I'll be posting pictures and I'll put these boxes um, with the little notes that I have so it'll make it easier for you guys to check out my blog to be able to recreate these. So you can go to the blog, cut your cardstock, 
then you can watch the video and refer back to it, right? Because I don't know, that's what I always do. That's how I get this stuff accomplished. Okay, you guys, I will not be live next Sunday. I will be on a beach with an umbrella drink. They don't make old fashions outside of Wisconsin very well. So I will be on a beach with an umbrella drink having a nice relaxing vacation. <laughs> I do have things, I think, happening while I'm gone on my blog, so please make sure you check those out. You can go there, and in the right-hand column, you can put your email address in and subscribe to my blog so you don't miss anything. It'll come right into your email inbox every time I add something on there. It's really cool. If you'd like to join my team, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. It is always so, so fun. Um, oh, somebody just said something about my shaky hands. Um, who did that? Mm, I now I can't find it. But anyways, I just oh here we go, Janice. Um, no, actually Janice, it's kind of a hereditary thing that my hands shake. My dad had really shaky hands, and I've had that for like since I was in my twenties probably. But thank you for your concern. But I do shake just a little bit, and plus I drink caffeine, so that makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, because you can't keep up the schedule without something. <laughs> Just, well, I'm not kidding. It's true. All right. So um, I will not be live next week. And I do not get back from Hawaii until the 24th. So I'm going to miss you for two Sundays. Now, if I get time, what I wanted to do was do a Facebook Live, not live. But we know from the last couple times that I left, I really honestly didn't have time to get that accomplished before I left. So I'm not going to make any promises. But it is on my to-do list. So just know I'm going to make a good effort. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for making Sunday nights such a fun experience. I know you guys love this, but just please know that I love it too. It's like it's the highlight of my week most times. And I love stamping with you and I love all your comments and your funny things that you say and, and just the fact that you put up with me is hysterical. <laughs> enjoy my umbrella umbrella drink I will and I will tell Steve to have fun also he's gonna have a great time he's planning on going golfing while we're there so that's cool um <clears throat> we're gonna be hanging around a lot with um Dina and her husband and we rented a car together <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna tool around the island with them and then I have two more team members that are gonna be there too so that'll be a lot of fun. Debbie says, I had a great old fashioned in Hawaii. Oh my gosh. If I find a bartender from Wisconsin, I will have an old fashioned. Thank you for telling me that because it just really wasn't even a consideration. I went to Iowa and ordered an old fashioned. I asked him, I said, do you know how to make old fashions? And oh yeah, yeah. I took one drink and took it back up to the bar and said, no, you don't. <laughs> and I made her give me something else, probably unsweetened iced tea. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I've got a lot more work to get done tonight before I get to hit the sack and um, hit the road running tomorrow. So thank you once again. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and share this video. That really helps me out. If you're on YouTube later, please share. I always appreciate your orders. It's what pays my bills and keeps me in business. So I appreciate that too, you guys. Don't forget... I have a hand-penned, this paper, I have a hand-penned online class. I also have a kit class using the Quiet Meadow, which is gorgeous, um, using this paper also, kit class. And we have that catalog kickoff going on right now. And it's always a good day to be a subscriber on Stamp Happy Academy. It is our website where we share tons and tons of additional stuff. Also, all of my online class PDFs are on there. Four new ones every month from Barb, Dina, and I of online classes for $19.95 a month basic membership, $34.95 a month live or premium membership, which includes the basic and Stamp Happy Live. And I'll be live tomorrow. Oh, that's for the catalog kickoff. I'll be live tomorrow night. Wednesday at 10 a.m. on Stamp Happy Academy. I will be live with some beautiful card layouts. Okay. I'll let you guys go. I need to go tinkle. Too much information? Perhaps. 
Make some card sets so you're ready for the gifts. Even if you just give them to your neighbor, it's a reason to stamp. And think of the joy you will bring if you present this to somebody who's totally not expecting it. Make the world a little happier place. Share your passion for paper crafting. People love homemade stuff. Have yourselves a great couple weeks. Bye, you guys.